you a question. Uh, does anyone uh, here disagree that Hitler started World War II wasn't a positive intention? Okay, you see, I say there's a positive intention behind every behavior. So how many of you are wondering, why did I put Hitler here? You know who Hitler is, right? Yes. The aggressor of World War II. Why do you think there was a positive intention for him to start World War II? There's a positive Yes. Well, how many disagree? How many disagree? Is it no positive It's always who? The other person who perceives it. So when you, when you realize that someone is not behaving the way that you feel he should be behaving, now you probably want to have a bit more compassion to realize that probably at his point of view, he's seen that there are certain what, good things that he could possibly derive out of doing that. Not that undesirable behavior. Let's say smoking. Why do people smoke? Distress. Distress. What else? Kill time. What else? Social, social, social. Feel good, you know. They want to interact, you know. Nobody in this world, by the way, would ever do anything which they feel is not going to benefit them in a certain way. Or nobody would ever do anything in this world if they don't think that it's going to help them to achieve either of the two P's in life. Ah, what are the two P's? Ah? By the way, let me share this with you. Anything that you do in your life, Unless you tell me you are ready to enlighten the Buddha. Okay? Nobody is a Buddha yet. Now let me tell you this. Let me be frank with you. Anything that you do in your life can only be triggered by two things. You know what are two things? They are the two P's. Yes, someone mentioned it. Yeah, it's either a way to what? Get more leisure. Or away from pain. Why are you here today? You must be here today because something in your mind says that if I'm here today, I probably gonna learn something that I want. That is what? Pleasure. I'm here today because I have certain issues I want to deal with in my life. That's what? Right, to avoid certain pain, to get rid of the pain in my life. So anything that we do in our lives is usually a way of getting. So if someone is smoking, don't say that, you know, why were you smoking, you know, that, you know, people will die, you get cancer when you smoke. But why, you know, why is it that this person doesn't change? Because he's linking, why? By the way, why would someone do certain things when he feels that there's also pain in the air? Now, how many agree with me that there are many smokers out there who know, you know, there's so many advertisements. Even today, the government, Singapore government is so creative. No, we have the secret before they even light up the secret. It's <laughs> so ugly, yeah, the picture and all those. But but why would they still smoke? Why they happy like? Right? Okay, so it depends on these two things here. If the pleasure that they get from what? smoking is what much more greater than pain. the pain, they will still smoke. But sometimes something even happens. Sometimes there's no pleasure, but there's pain. They still smoke. Why? Yes, thank you so much, Joshua. Sometimes we may even want to what? Let's say someone is in a, let's talk about marriage. Some people have, are in a, in a bad marriage. Why would you think that that is what, by the way? Pain. Then why would they remain in that marriage? Even, no, with that pain. In the presence of the pain. Why? Yeah, because that pain will, no, that, that change will what? Represent more, more pain. pain. By the way, most people are more fearful of an unknown pain than a known pain. Most people are more willing to deal with a known pain than to deal with an unknown pain. So I'd rather stick with my current pain. I'd rather stick with my current problems and challenges rather than to change. Because what if, what if I were to change and I still don't get something positive? You know, what if? 
What if you know I really work so hard because I know I really want to be a millionaire because right now I don't, I don't, I feel painful. I'm not millionaire. But what if I try so hard and then I still don't get what I want? Then I regret, you know. So you give him more pain. So realize that there's always a, a positive intention behind everything that a person does. All right. Uh, let's move on to the next one. I'm going to show you another video. Uh, how many of you have ever watched uh, Xiao Hai Pupen? Uh? Ah, sorry? Yeah. Our local production. Shi Fu, you can go, ma? Real business.